guys, welcome to the Stealthy Crafter. So today I have an unboxing for you guys. Um, I got this one from um, Diamond Art Club. Um, I bought this for my next project uh, that's coming up next month because uh, I think there's an event that's uh, in November and I think it's like two events that I could possibly use for this. So um, let's get started and show you guys what's going on, okay? So this kit is the Universe in a Jar by Randall Spangler. And yeah, so I think there's something called like the Randall Spangler season or something like that. And then also uh, there was Starry Nights. And I figured this would also count as well because it's space theme. And I think it's so cool looking. Um, so if you guys didn't know, it is a square diamond painting. And the way to tell that is um, uh, one of the things is that it has a square right on the front and of course it says square diamonds or if you're looking on the sides it has a nice blue line across the front so let's get this let's get into this oh, everything's dropping all out okay so one of the things that you get in your um, kit here is the um, tool pa painting kit. Um, so since this is a square, you will get tweezers. You'll have um, a pen, a squishy, a nice little boat with two heart-shaped wax and some baggies, and then like a um, four-place, yeah, a four-place multi-placer as well. And then you'll also get this to put on your logbook, a sticker or anything. Some people put them on the box, like my bottom here on the sides. Um, some put, people put them in their logbooks. You can throw them away, um, what have you. So that's one one of the things. I like these a lot. I don't know where to put them now since I'm now switched to using the big stickers in here that you'll see in just a minute. And then, let's see, we're going to open this up. I bought this originally, um, well, for the for the event, plus my son really, really likes this one. I gave him a couple of choices because he likes dragons, and he chose this one. He really, he can't wait for me to, to start this one. Of course, now my oldest is all, well, when are you going to start my project? So, let's, let's get this first out, okay? Um, we got the step-by-step -step instructions, of course. Tells you how to do it. Um tips and tricks has a discount code in there um we have the drills that i will never be able to get back in the bag properly and then we also have right here our logbook stuff um so we have the legend it has uh 50 color wolf i didn't realize 50 colors um three ab's and it's, I did mention that it is square. So, um, great thing about these are they're pillable, as you can see. So you can put them on your storage containers. And I am, am accidentally making a mess over here. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll put that right back on. There we go. So, yeah, um, I cut this out now off the side and then put this in my book. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. So we'll put this to the side. And we are going to open this canvas up and take a nice big look at it. Ooh. Let's flatten this out a little bit. This one doesn't quite want to stay flat, but okay. Ooh, that's pretty. So as you can see, um, it has a little dragon wings, all, and I thought this was kind of cute too, cause like you got this old guy right here, looking at through the telescope. There's planets, there's stars, there's galaxies, there's all sorts of cool things in here, and books, you know, the classic books here. But um, I just I'm I'm really excited because it's just like everything is. So, there's just a lot to look at. Um, but um, my eye keeps drawing to this spot right here all the time. But, I mean, there is so much to look at. If you look into the picture here, you can see so many different things. It's really nice and detailed. Um, so, on the canvas, you will have the legend on both sides here. Um, 
And then you also have the nice little thumbnail down here as well. Um, it tells you all the details like how big it is, who is it from, uh, who's, who, who's the artist, um, where it's licensed from. And then of course there's also, uh, let's see, there's also a discount down here as well. So yeah, we're going to flip this over and I'll show you the drills. I'm not going to be able to put this back in properly. I didn't realize there was 50 colors. Holy cow. So this is going to be interesting. I'm trying to fit this all back in. I might just have to kit up and just put this to the side since it's going to be next month. So, Alright. Or I'll watch this video and uh, try and do it all over again. Like so. Alright, you ready? Me too. First color is, let's see, we got 645, then we have an 844, um, 797, two of those, 820, 640, 796, 775, 498, 977, 699, uh, 947, 647. We got 3325, 3854, 907, and 906. And that needs to focus. Then the second string here. We got 939. Two of those. Thirty-seven ninety-nine, eight twenty-three, two, three of those, three hundred one, four hundred, three three four, and three hundred. And then we're on our next batch here. All right, we got our first AB one forty-one, and it's a white one. Um, if you guys don't know what AB stands for, it stands for Aurora Borealis, and um. I'm pretty sure, as you have heard from other YouTubers and whatnot, but if you don't know, it's a iridescent coating, like a little coating on top here, to make the drill sparkle a bit more than the others. Um, it also gives the surrounding drills um, a bit more pop to their to their uh, step and all that, so it makes it nice and sparkly. So then we have 700, 385. Oh wait, no, 3,855. Ooh, 124 and that's our 780 and that's a pretty pink color. I'm really interested to find where that goes. I think it goes in that little galaxy. Um, 814, 666, 130 and that's our third AB and it's a pale yellow color 601 uh 3837 976 155 and 3607 then we're going to go to this last string and figure this out we got two bags of 798 we got a bag of 648 991 and 3608. So I'm going to take a moment here to look where the ABs are located and I'll show you guys where they are in just a moment. All right, guys. So I took a look over both the legend, um, so to look at the symbols and um, also to see where all the um, ABs are located. Um, they're located everywhere in this canvas. They have it sprinkled out so nice. I can't wait to see what this looks like. But I did notice a thing, um, let me see, uh, 17 um, and also uh, 41. Um, if you're not paying attention too closely, I mean, yeah, the arrows are different colors, but they could still potentially mess you up if you're not, are, if you're not paying close enough attention. Um, and then, of course, we have 26 and 28 as well to be an issue. Um, and then we have 3 and E. 
<clears throat> right here. Sorry. Oh, three and E. I mean, yeah, three doesn't have that flat back, but you know, it's still sometimes I can still get confused at times. So, um, things that's something that you guys gotta watch out for if that stuff does mess you up from time to time. <clears throat> so, like I said, we have ABs scattered everywhere. Um, I'm not even. I don't even think I should go color by color because that's how scattered they are. Instead, we're going to go through sections here. So, let's fold this up a bit and let me zoom you in. Okay, so one of the first things is, let's see if you can get a nicer look. Let's see, there we go. So we got ones and threes all located throughout this jar right here. So we have the threes, ones, all on the tops, the sides here, and then of course some more threes. Um, yeah, a couple threes right here on the edges of the jar, like for the glass right here. And then um, kind of like the little highlight shine on that little glass jar. Um, and then of course the ones, and then over here, we'll move this over a bit. We got twos on the top, some threes scattered over with a little one, more twos and threes for this top right here. And then as you're going further down, we got for the galaxies, ones and threes all over it. It's going to be so sparkly and so beautiful. I can't wait. Um, for this jar, we got like the threes and ones as well. Um, threes located on the sides here and um, a little bit of twos. Of course, Threes more on the sides of the jars as well. We got ones and threes on this little jar. And twos for that little tiny planet on that side. Um, the dragolines don't really have a lot. I noticed there is some ABs here. But I'm kind of thinking maybe I want to, you know, make them a little bit more sparkly. But we'll see. Um, we have... Over here we have the twos located in this area and some in these little marbles slash planets right here. Um, right here. Um, and then, let's see, where was the other section? Of course we got threes on the jar on the sides. Um, let's see, oh yeah, the um, old man right here. We have threes on his, on his like shirt that he's wearing and then his... Uh, beard and hair as well but overall I think that's where most of the ABs are located I'm sure there's a few other spots that I missed entirely but they are scattered all over the place let me see me back out there we go Whew. all right so yeah I can't wait to get this started next month it's going to look fantastic I think that it they could have done a little bit more maybe like on the uh, like along the backs of the dragon but you know it's okay and also of course you know guys make the eyes shine a lot more um but overall they did a really good job with uh, how it looks like they sprinkled out where it's not too crazy but I'm the crazy one I like more sparkles so <laughs> but um anyways if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video bye